Your Majesty, greetings. I wish you happiness and good health. Let's dispense the pleasantries. Great. His Majesty was compiling the Imperial Collection of Four. I couldn't help from the harem, so I had someone find these books. But I just don't know what to do with them. Now I've got you, Sister Wonjin. You are cultured. You can help me select. You are too kind. I'm not remarkably talented. I just happen to be able to read. You are a lot smarter than you give yourself credit. You showed great talent in the disaster relief, and I heard that you gave His Majesty a few advices relating to the Imperial examination. Unlike me, who can't help His Majesty with state affairs. Although I'm not so pedantic, everyone should know their positions. Even though you're talented, the court is no place for you to show off. I was wrong. How did Consort Chuan know that I spoke to His Majesty? I have indeed spoken to His Majesty about it, but since you knew... You must also know the harem and court politics don't mix. You are trouble, either alone or in pair. My apologies, Your Majesty. I know that I've done wrong and I'm willing to transcribe women's dignity and learn from it. Please forgive me. You're indeed clever, Shane, but try not to be too smart for your own good. As for you, Consort Shun. I admit my guilt. Please punish me. You must hand copy women's dignity to remember well what you should and shouldn't do. Leave now if you have nothing more to say. I've already made up for the perfume, Consort Chuan. And even if I offended you in the past, it's just pointless to keep picking on me. You think I want to get involved with you? If you didn't offend too many people, I wouldn't need to teach you this lesson to put you in your place. I'm aware of my position, but, Consort Chuan, degrading yourself like this really surprises me. You can win this time, but you are not getting rid of me so easily. Well, 
The future days will be tough.